Good afternoon, everybody. I'm, of course, the Big Mike 1983. And thanks, everybody, for sticking around for our boss battle climate change fundraising marathon. We still have several donation bid wars going on. If you want to take a look, and any donation of $10 or more will enter you in for a chance to win some fabulous prizes. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I am doing NES Godzilla Monster of Monsters, and we are doing a special mode called Destroy All Monsters. What that is is going to be a password map we enter, which is essentially a single map battle royale with you taking out every enemy kaiju in the game. Uh, it is going to be very dangerous for me. This is not a guaranteed run by any any means. So give me all of your energy. Um, we are actually going to be leaving Mothra alive because Mothra is going to be our protector of the earth safety blanket. Yeah, if you want to give us a try on your own, if you have NES Godzilla available, you just need to put in destroy all monsters with spaces and you do have to use some numbers for a couple of the letters. Let's get this entered and then yeah, it's just one map, lots of rumbling. Um, I've run the full game a couple times, but it's a bit too long of a run for me to kind of do normally, whereas this is kind of a way better, shorter run. Um, I'd like to eventually get like around a 15 minute run of this. I just need to put in a lot more practice than I am uh, currently able to do, but let's get rumbling. Uh, did I screw that up? I kind of screwed that up. That's okay. So if you haven't seen this game before, uh, yeah, generally it is a platformer with some boss fights occasionally throughout. And the biggest enemy in the game, like so many other NES games, was, um, well, it's lag. Lots and lots and lots of lag. So we're going to do what we can to try and manage that. There are a couple enemies in the game that can effectively kind of one-shot us. It's really nasty. Um, what you're going to see is they're going to look like a flying horseshoe, and they're going to home in on us and try and pin us against the back of the screen. When I see those, what I need to basically do is do a whole lot of squat jumps to try and trick it to go up, and then I can just slide under it. Because you can see Godzilla can actually walk without moving. All right, so... This pattern kind of sucks, but all right, we're going to do the level and then fight the giant cuttlefish slash squid monster. So we're going to try and just slide right under the brain and not deal with its nonsense. All right, cool. And we get a health because of it. Yeah, we will be doing most of the fights as Godzilla. Uh, like I said, Mothra is more of a safety blanket. And is a damn good one, really. Uh, normally, though, in the full game, Mothra dies because you want Godzilla to get all of the XP. And so by the late stages, Godzilla is just completely unstoppable. Alright, so this is Gazora, the giant squiddy monster. And really no danger of killing you. Its biggest thing is it will absolutely corner stunlock you like now, and there's nothing you can do to get out of it. We're just going to try an Atomic Breath it, and it's not going to get hit very well, unfortunately. We're going to get it out of here, out of here. Go, go! So several of the Kaiju will actually have two different hitboxes, and if you place your Atomic Breath correctly, you can get more damage than normal. Unfortunately, Gazora and I believe... Uh, Hedora, the smog monster, will not have that. And this is... I'm getting surrounded already. This is not super. So this is Varan. He's unbelievable. Um, biggest thing I like about him, if I can actually get some shots in, is eventually if I hit him enough, he's going to just throw his head and hands back like he's got a case of the vapors. But instead, he's just going to stand in the corner ominously while I tail swipe him to death. All right, that was good. That was good, good, good. There it goes. There it goes. All 
Oof. Yes, um... Who do I want to fight? Because I might get surrounded by three kaiju. Yeah, I'll fight Gazora first, that's okay. So you want to generally move if you can before fighting a kaiju, because if you do not move, you skip the stage. And then that is going to prevent me from possibly gaining any additional life, which I mostly get from these mountains. Right, we're trying, we're trying. No horseshoes yet, so we're doing okay there. Now let's see if we can just one-shot fry this calamari. Not quite. There we go. We got him. Alright, that's one kaiju down. Hopefully I'm in a spot where they can't surround me too much. Okay, Mogera for some reason has decided to move up. On... Do I want to move... That's going to, yeah, we're not going to move, but we are going to fight Baron because I don't want to get insta-surrounded by three other kaiju. All right, that was a good amount of damage. But yeah, all the kaiju will have somewhat different hitboxes, and a couple are going to be especially difficult to hit. We should, there, we got him, so that's two kaiju down now. We're doing okay. Doing all right. Yeah, Baragon there, the one that's kind of squatting down, is going to be one of the harder ones to kill, just due to it crawls around on the ground like a dog. So really, there's a lot of times you can only kick it or tail swipe it, and there it is. That is the horseshoe from hell. So I was able to get out of its way. But yeah, that thing will, uh, can and will insta-kill Godzilla. It is very unfortunate. We've got a lot of slowdown. Let's use our breath to try and clear the screen a little bit. An interesting thing about the game is you actually have a little bit of control over your atomic breath. In that, if you punch, you do a full force atomic breath. If you kick, you only do a, so I think it's half power, but you can do it more often. So we really just want to get Hedora in the corner and beat the bejesus out of it. And this really is the saving the planet kaiju fight because Hedora is the smog monster. It's made out of just all the shit we threw into the ocean and it has come back to haunt us. But if you give it any distance, there we go, it'll start launching these, like, sm basically smog balls at you. And those are a lot more dangerous than its little slappy attacks. Alright, so now we have Gigan, everyone's favorite evil space chicken, coming to play. And for Gigan, we're gonna do kind of the same thing, we're just gonna punch it in the throat a lot. Turns out if Godzilla punched more other kaiju in the throat, it would, uh make it, all of his fights a lot easier. Come on, come on. All right, at least most of them I'm fighting fairly easy, but I'm gonna wanna do a, I think a stop at, or did we, holy shit, we one cycled Gigan. Hot damn. All right, so instead of winning a fight, you can just kill a kaiju, and that'll recharge a bunch of your health as well. And really, this should be, there we go. We have now officially saved the planet from pollution. Marathon goal, done. All right, and now Baragon, the little puppy kaiju who couldn't, uh, really just annoying as hell to fight. Its hitbox is ridiculous. It can normally get under your atomic breath. So we're just gonna have to do a whole lot of kicking and hope for the best. Come on, come on, dude. Yep, yep, that's what I thought. 
All right, who's next? Oh, that was it, huh? Okay. I'm gonna try and kill Baragon to get health back. But sometimes Baragon is like a three or four cycle fight for me because I'm terrible. I think even when it's standing up, I can't really punch it that well either. No. Oh, oh Baragon, please. Come on, come on. Because if Mecha Godzilla attacks me, there we go. That helps. I was going to say, if I was at that amount of health and Mecha Godzilla attacked me, I would probably be dead. I might be dead anyway. And that means it's Mothra time. We're going to see how this goes, though. Mecha Godzilla, though, is easily, I mean, besides the final boss, the big run killer of the game. Uh, he just has so much firepower to hit you with. And his health bar, as you can see, is fully ass across the screen. So, unfortunately, if Godzilla dies this early, I don't know if we'll survive with Mothra, but we will, uh, we'll certainly give it a try. What I absolutely need to do, though, is move after this fight so I can get my health all the way recharged. Because this will not be a one cycle, unless he one cycles me. Alright, no, he didn't. Alright, so we're gonna move. We're gonna fight him again. And hopefully, I get enough health almost immediately. Get back to full. Alright. Alright, we're good, we're good. We're in a much better spot. We are lagged to hell and back, but that's part of the course. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. I have been knocked back into the horseshoe after dodging it and died. And let me tell you, those are some mute the stream for a minute moments right there. Last heal, last heal. Lost an entire health bar, which kind of sucks, but... Let's just immediately microwave this aluminum foil. Oh, oh, he has the same idea, and he can do it a lot more than I can. Although, luckily, now his power is pretty drained. Because they have the same problem you do, in which their power can run out. But, yeah, we're good here. We're good, we're good, we're good. So now, where's Mogera going to go? Mogera's not going to do anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to finally move Mothra into action. Mostly so Mogera doesn't keep trying to chase Mothra and will come after Godzilla again. Uh, Mothra can generally just avoid most of the BS going on in the stages. Mothra, unfortunately, also has a problem where her shots... Uh, her shots basically are part of her hurt box. And we don't know why. It's just the way they coded it. So, like, if an enemy hits my bullets, it will hurt me. Or at least push me back. Like, with their bullets. Um, the w I think the biggest stage that happens in is there's these industrial, like, factory stages with these wall panels. And those are really what ruined my day. Yeah. Leave Mothra alone for the planet going to be probably a three segment stage because yeah some of this oh no 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 there you go yeah much easier to avoid those as mothra uh you do occasionally do need to sweep down though and take out some mountains for health um but we have deadly moth powder for that and that got me nothing thanks game well that's a health because normally when you kill off Mothra, you just kind of leave Mothra in the corner, and it gets just stunlocked to death. But in this case, since we want Mothra to live, getting hit by stuff and trapped in the corner is very bad. Alright, let's hope we don't have a third horseshoe on this level. 
But now that I say that, I'm of course going to get one. Alright, cool. And now here comes old Fatty. Good old OG Mogera. Ooh, can we one cycle? Let's find out. Um, the, Mogera does not get stun locked in the corner nearly as much and doesn't really have any animations. Uh, they literally just made one Mogera sprite and then just move it around the screen. Get the one cycle, maybe. Maybe. My life sucks from this, though, so... Good lord, nope. Alright. So what we're gonna do is actually, for this one, is... No, we're just gonna kill him. It's fine. It's fine. Because this is just gonna be a one shot and done. And that doesn't give me a ton of health, but that'll be okay, because we have a King Ghidorah strategy we use. And that strategy... Um, how many spots can Moth remove? Alright, we're fine there. So we're going to not fight King Ghidorah. And what this makes us do is we still have to do the stage, but then King Ghidorah has to make the first move. And why we want that to happen is because if I fight Ghidorah first, right after this stage, is I have to fight Ghidorah, I lose all of my health, and then I can't run to another stage before Ghidorah fights me. So now I can kind of duck and weave. And I need to, because King Ghidorah is, uh is an asshole. Uh, there are certain times it will do its bite attack and take off most of your life. So we want to not get trapped in the corner if possible, but we don't actually have a choice in the matter. Which is just something the game does. But we will uh, we'll do our best. Like I said, Mothra is our safety blanket, and honestly at this point, there are times I let Godzilla die off to save time. All right, so now we're going to not fight the enemy again, but we're going to do the stage to get our health life back. Now, if Ghidorah was at like a quarter health or under, I'd fight it just to kill it. But since it's not, I don't want to have to deal with uh, getting murdered by it. Even though I could maybe take it out I'd rather not rip run during a marathon, so this is a little bit of marathon safety. If I was actually on my stream speedrunning this, I would just go for it and hope for the best. But if I was also doing speedrunning, Mothra would be dead. So Mothra fans, rejoice. Oh, this is going very well. Oh my, yes, this is... That might be one of my best Ghidorah patterns if the stage doesn't end before I can kill it. Oh, we did it! We did it, but it is not GG yet. Because this game is like that. So after killing Ghidorah, you still have to do the final stage, and this is where the time save comes in when you're speedrunning, because now I have to do this with both Mothra and Godzilla. Because unfortunately, once the final stage goes through... Ow! Oh, so that is what... I'm just gonna use my one F-bomb of the stream to say, uh, colloquially, we call that the fuck magnet in the game. Uh, you don't want to get hit by that. I did. So you saw that flat out took out half my life. Um, absolute run killer if it hits you at an inopportune moment. But we're gonna go ahead and... just walk on through. And now we have to get through with Mothra. Now, the big thing about the game, though, is unfortunately, 
Uh, if one of your kaiju escapes and the other dies, it counts as a game over. So really annoying. Um, that's why Mothra needs to be killed off before you get through the game. Oh, game, please. Are you kidding me? All because of you? <laughs> right, we're just gonna cruise on through. I was hoping for a sub-19, but you know what? Regardless, um, we're doing really well for not having a super great time on the board, but hey, somebody's gotta be last, right? Mothra, no! And the reason why timing doesn't end on the first kaiju escaping is because of the whole Mothra thing, and that being kind of a... It's a strategy, really. Alright, see, this is what I mean. Is that thing's last bullet being able to just hit Mothra. So we're gonna... Try and just plow through this stage. Yeah, this, uh... What I should have probably done was just bit the bullet with Godzilla. And let Ghidorah kill him. Did not have to do this stage twice, but that's all right. That's gonna put us right on estimate when, I was hoping we could have PB'd a bit, but not gonna happen every time until I get my routing correctly. Or more importantly, uh, yeah, just not doing the more marathon safe Mothra strat. But, like I said, I'd rather not have Rip Run because of that. Yeah, there's been plenty of times where doing a run just ends because Godzilla just isn't strong enough after getting essentially attacked on four sides by Kaiju. And that is time, just under 21 minutes. So a little off my PB, but that's all right. And then it just kind of unceremoniously spits you into the game itself. So there's no big game over screen for that mode. You just kind of go. But yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, make sure you keep watching our boss battle climate change marathon. You give what you can. Like I said, we are, what is it? Every $10, you get an entry into a raffle. So we got that going for us. Um, and then, yeah, we still have a couple donation bidding wars. Let me go ahead and throw that link in chat again. And yeah, coming up next, everybody stick to your seats. We have Jamie Loves Games coming up with P -p 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 Power Blade. So yeah, thanks everybody for stopping by. And keep on watching.